So you can see the words of affirmation that we have basically placed. And uh, when I say we, because some people think, okay, when Avi says we, it means he's just trying to hide behind the name we, but um, it's actually him, not we. When I speak we, I speak of the ancestors, okay? Our ancestors live on in the inside of us. Each and every one of us has a direct connection with the ancestors. So when I say we many, many of the times, when I say we, I'm speaking of myself, I'm speaking of the ancestors which are in me. So if you look at if you see the words of affirmations, we are Zolabantu, we live in love. That's one of our motto, one of our pillars. We live in purity, we live in justice, we are fair to each other. We are priests, the three pillars of spirituality, scientists and judges. We bring the best, we bring together the best of us, we build together, we don't destroy. So this comes from the Congo ancestry. Um uh, affirmation we say it in Kikongo Zolanga Angulendo Nzakumpamvu Nzinga Makuku Matatu Malamba Congo. So this is basically where uh, this um affirmation comes from. So now we put it in English, you can put it in Swana, you can put it in any of your home languages, you can speak and really believe that um as a human being, your goal is to live in love with your neighbor. Half purity means you need to respect the laws of the universe. And then living justice means you have to be fair to one another. And being a priest, it means you are an ambassador of the creator on the physical dimension. You are connecting humanity to the creator. Being a scientist, it means you recognize how the universe functions and you are trying to make life sustainable for human beings who are existing in the natural environment. And to be a judge, it means you are in the, also in the branch of governing the society. It means you are basically making sure that there's law and order, that everything is being run in the right way. So these are basically the three pillars of spirituality. Why? Because when our ancestor, Nimi Congo, or Noah, left the heart of Africa to go towards to build the civilization of King Gipiti or Egypt, he was given three children. We are told by the Europeans that they were, their names was Shem, Ham, and Japheth. No. Their names was Zolanga and Gulendo. Okay. There are also different names that you can give them as well. If you look at Egyptian Egyptology as well. So Zola was given the wisdom to be a priest before the creator. And Gangu was given the wisdom to be a scientist. He was given all the knowledge to be able to identify uh, the, to study the natural environment and also provide goods and services for the community. And Lendo, who was the judge, he was basically the governor of Egypt. So these three children of Nimi Congo or Noah, I want to welcome Mr. Jackson. These three children of Nimi Congo or Noah are the ones that built the civilization that we know as Egypt. So we all of us existed in that particular time, but we have just come back to continue our experience. So when we say the three pillars of spirituality, we mean that um, our entire community, everybody, depending on their activities and their skills, can be grouped under these three branches. And then we bring together these three branches. We organize the best of us. We build together but we do not destroy. It means what we should not be the ones to pollute the environment. No, we have to be in harmony with the environment, even though we are passing through this existence. So if you look at the next page picture, you can see here, we have the pyramid. The pyramid was built triangular in shape. It was symbolic. There are many reasons why it was built triangular in shape. It was connected to the stars, Cyrus, you know, the pharaohs, they believe that when they put them in the pyramid, when they die, their souls will immediately go straight back to Kakongo or Olympia or Valhalla. But there's also a deeper meaning to the symbol of the pyramid. The pyramid is triangular in shape because it represents the three pillars of spirituality, which is the priest, the scientists, and the judges. These have to work together in harmony for a good society to exist. If you go to African uh, homes, you would see when we cook in Africa, we put three, three stones and a pot on top. Now let's take that symbol to say, the three pots are the three pillars. The three stones are the three pillars and the pot is the society. So for any society to function, there needs to be a collaboration between these three principles.
The priest received the information from the creator. They give it to the scientist and they give it to the judges. The scientist studies the environment and builds goods and services that can be able to help people who are living in society to live in the right way. And the judges are the ones that govern the society. So if you look at all occupations, you can list them under these three principles. A lawyer is helping man directly, is a priest. A teacher is helping man directly, is a priest. An engineer, a software designer is making goods and services, is a scientist. A president is governing, is a judge. A policeman is a judge. A minister is a judge. So all occupations can be put under these three principles. But the priest is on top because the priest is, create, is connecting the, physical, the spiritual dimension and the physical, physical dimension. So in spirituality, the priest is the color blue, the vibration of color blue. The scientist is the vibration of color yellow, and the judge is the vibration of color red. So different people that are going to come to the Zolabantu community, we have to identify in which area do they belong. Are they priests, or are they judges, or are they scientists? Now, there are some people who are gifted in all these three areas. We call those indigo kids. Because if you mix the color blue, yellow, and red in a bucket, it makes the color violet, indigo. So, for example, if you look at uh, Rakagiso, he has some color blue in him and also color yellow. Uh, but as I hear from my obser observation of Brother Zahir, he has more of the color yellow and the color red. So we can be able to organize our community under these three principles. So in the Zorabandu community, if you look at our leaders, for example, I, I, I don't have the yellow color of being a scientist, like Brother Gerson, no. I am more of a teacher. I am a blue color. I'm the priest there. And if you look at Brother Gerson, he's more in the part of goods and services. You know, he's a scientist. He's, if you look at some of his projects, if you look at some of the things he speaks about, you notice that he's so much, his color yellow is too much. So he's the scientist over there. And Brother Zahir, I know him is really good at organizing things. And, you know, he's one of, he's our treasurer as well. So he's basically the judge on this side. So it means we have to work together. I cannot do this alone as a priest. And you, Brother so you cannot do this alone as a scientist. And Brother Zahir, you cannot do this alone as a judge. We have to work together and make sure that this pyramid is alive always and be strong to build our community under these three principles. If you look at Brother Robert, Miss Lebo Hang, she's more of a priest, just like me. Miss uh, Ipeleng, she's more of a priest and also a scientist. Queen Amani, who will be joining us soon, I think, she's also in the color yellow of the scientist. Sometimes she's also in the color of the priest. So this is basically how we're going to organize our community. We're going to restore the principles that build the great civilization in the world of Egypt with these three principles. So this is very, very important. So primary Zorabantu is to teach people spirituality. That is our primary goal. So my biggest object, objective is to make sure that Brother here returns to the spiritual kingdom, that you make it to the spiritual kingdom. It means what? You have to gain consciousness. You have to vibrate in these three principles of love, purity, and justice. This is my biggest goal. You know, the Zorabantu projects is secondary. All those projects is secondary. The biggest goal is to make sure that each and every one of us arrives at consciousness. In Egypt, we used to say you become an Osiris. It means both your masculine and feminine energy join together and you become an autoconscious. That is why I want us to work together so that with the activities we'll be involved in the Zorobanto community, we all can become an Osiris. We all can become a Muntu. That is our goal. So the projects are secondary. The work is secondary. We have to face fight for our salvation because we are living in a very specific time where the reign of a thousand years will be starting very soon, in approximately 400 years. So not anybody can participate in the reign of a thousand years. Only those who have been able to arrive 
to reach the vibration of love, purity, and justice, will be able to participate. That is the ticket. So it's good to fight for Africa. Oh, let's liberate Africa. Yes, it's good. But first fight for your own salvation. Book a place because it will start in the heart of Africa. Book a place first to participate in the end of a thousand years. If we fail, if I die, brother here die, Mr. Jackson dies, our children will continue the fight. But you make sure that in this your incarnation, achieve love, purity, and justice. Make an effort at least to arrive at the fourth dimension. myself.